Simple question. Is going to college worth it? A lot of people been talking about this. I see a lot of people posting about it, making little TikToks, making Instagrams about it. And I think it's a great conversation, but I think it's much more complicated. I don't think there's a, a clear right, a clear wrong, a clear yes, or a clear no. So let me get into more detail. Before I even do that, let me be clear about something. I am a college graduate. I graduated with three different degrees. I have two bachelor's degrees, one in communication and broadcast, one in physical anthropology, or just anthropology for that matter, and one in my master's is in social work. So um, someone look at me and say, college could have been worth it for you because you're not using your degrees right now. Well, that's false, right? In order for you to make a statement like that about me, you have to understand exactly what those degrees are and what they entail. Communication broadcast is exactly what it sounds like. We did a lot of stuff with radio, we did a lot of stuff with editing, shooting videos, obviously the art of communicating, right? Public speaking, we did a lot of those things and I'm clearly using that, right? I'm clearly using a lot of those skills as we talk, right? as I talk to you guys right now. When I go ahead and edit this video, those kind of things, with my music, I'm clearly using those skills and uh, the things I've learned there. Now, am I using it in the sense that people foresaw? Probably not, but I am utilizing it. Anthropology is simply the study of people. And if you're doing things like this, if you're doing content, if you're doing music, if you're doing anything that involves interacting with people and understanding how to deal with people who are from a completely different world than you, anthropology is definitely gonna help you with that. Now again, am I using it in the sense of what people thought I would be using it. No, I'm not, but I am utilizing it. And with social work, social work is very similar to anthropology in the fact that they're both studies of people, but social work goes into drug and alcohol and different other, and other spaces like that. Um, so in essence, I am utilizing all of those degrees. Um, I mean, even recently, my most recent nine to five is a drug and alcohol facility. And I've done that um, probably a total of like three years or something like that. Um, and you guys, some of you guys know my history and my past. If you listen to my music, you know. Uh, a lot of people, my family was on drugs. A lot of them, most of them. Um, I never partook. But to get back to the original question, is college worth it? It all depends on what you're looking to get from it. It all depends on your goals. Um, but there's a lot of benefits and upside to college. Lots of them. Obviously, college is very expensive, so that's not necessarily a benefit. But if you are an athlete that's getting a scholarship, even if it's a partial, Right, if you're high, if you're a very skilled academic student and you're getting an academic scholarship, I knew guys who were getting uh, athletic scholarships and academic scholarships. I laid, I ended up getting the academic scholarship. I never got an athletic one. Um, I, there was talks at one point for one, but never got an uh, athletic one. So that's a big thing, right? If you can get funding for it, why not? Um, but I think the, the the biggest thing that a lot of people don't understand about college, particularly a university is the networking opportunities you're gonna get. That's the biggest job fair you'll ever be a part of. College is like a giant job fair. Every year, every semester is like a job fair. And you're gonna come across professors, some of whom are gonna just like you just because you are a funny student. Or maybe you remind them of somebody, right? And I know this may sound crazy, but some of them will give you certain opportunities, right? If there's a scholarship coming up, right? A scholarship opportunity coming up, and you're a high academic achieving student, they know you work hard, a professor might pitch your name, right? Someone that's the head of the department might pitch your name for that scholarship. Um, but it's a giant job fair. That's all, like college in essence is literally a giant job fair. You're gonna meet so many different people. Um, some of my closest friends, some of my, my friends um, who are more like me, at least more like kind of like the, the nerdy side of me or whatever the case is, I met in college. Some of my closest friends I met in college, right? It's a giant networking opportunity. Um, another thing is there's a lot of skills you're, you can acquire, right? You can learn how to do a resume. Now granted, some of these things you can learn outside of college, most of which you can learn. But college put you, can put you in a, a, a bubble, for lack of a better term, right? Well, all you gotta worry about is college, right? Um, so college is a giant networking opportunity. For a lot of people, it's their first real world opportunity like when they're actually in the real world they're not at home they're not under mom or dad's thumb anymore it's their first chance first time to do that so college provi provides that almost in a very safe kind of way right whereas though you're free you got all things you want to do but you still got to be back by this time you still got class at this time you still got football practice basketball practice whatever your other obligations are so to me college is very good for that now 
There are some degrees and some majors that will not yield you the same financial results as like a meteorology degree will or a any kind of um, STEM degree will, right? But that's when you become creative. So you might go to school like I did for communications. A lot of people do. You got to figure out what you're going to do. And fortunately, we're in the day and age now where we got phones, we got camera, we got everything we need to utilize the skills that we learned in that classroom about lighting, shading, all of those things. Certain colors, how they blend on camera. We have all the tools now. This ain't like back in the day when we didn't have the tools. Now we got the tools in our hands. Those giant cameras we got in the room, some of these iPhones are more powerful than that. So college provides you a lot of that, right? Um, so I, I can't ever say college is a waste of time. It really depends on what you do. I know people who went to college, it was kicked out first semester. I know dudes went to college, it was kicked out first couple of weeks. It was fighting all kinds of little dumb shit. So it all depends on what you're going there to do. And if you have a plan, right? And understanding that certain majors might pay you more, but the amount of work you about to go through, like those, like to be a lawyer or to be a certain kind of doctor, those are going to take you some time. And it's going to be stressful. A lot of people come out, you know, I know so many people who are lawyers or nurses or doctors, and they were stressed from day one until they graduated because then they had to do more schooling after that. Some degrees aren't even, some degrees <laughs> aren't even all that valuable without getting the master, master's component to it. And so these are the things you guys have to keep in mind when deciding if college is worth it or not. Because again, it's not a clear cut answer. Some of the cons of going to college. So let's say you're one of those people who know exactly what they want to do. Me, I went to college to catch touchdowns. That's it. I just happen to be a tad bit smart. And I happen to get lucky and have physical anthropology my first semester. I already committed to communications, but physical anthropology was the one I really wanted. And I didn't know that. I just happened to have that class. And the first day I said, I want this major too. So that's why I double major. But if you know exactly what you really want, it's really important to understand this. Um, you're going to have a lot of classes that don't exactly pertain to what you want. You're going to have what they call prereq, uh, not prerequisites. You're going to have, um, I forgot what they call those particular classes, but it's the classes that you need, um, your basic classes that you need. You're going to need a math class. You're going to need a, a reading class, a writing class, certain classes you need, no matter what, no matter what your major is. And some students are so skilled in one area. Like, I know math students who can't stand writing. I know writing students, like myself, who couldn't do math if they tried, right, um, to save their life. Um, so if you know exactly what you want to do, college might not be what you want. It might not be. You might be better off going to a trade. You might be, right? Because some people want to just be plumbers, electricians, carpenters, um, anything, any kind of, like, hard-nosed trade. You don't, you, you don't need to go to college for that. At all, you can go straight to a trade school. You'd be out of there in like sometimes eight to 12 months. So it all depends. So understanding exactly what you wanna do will make the decision of going to college worth it or not. Um, electives, they're called electives. So you have elective courses, you have to, uh, you have to take some electives. Um, if you know the department head sometime, they might, some electives might be able to go here or there or whatever the case is. So, but we all have the courses that we gotta take. So. So if you know exactly what you want to do, you might not want to go to college, right? Also, if you have no plan at all, I mean, I'm talking no implant, no plan or desire to go to college, you might not want to go because you'll end up wasting a lot of money really quick, right? You'll end up spending a lot of money on classes really quick and you never really wanted to go. That's not a great thing. So these are kind of some of the things that you have to think about. For me, it was always football. It was always sports, right? Sports were going to do it for me. So... That was my that was my that was what pushed me. For you, it might be something else, right? I would never sit up here and say any degree is a waste of a degree. That's bullshit, and I think that's, that's just dumb. I would never say that. But I will say certain degrees tend to earn more. Also, another interesting fact is that people who are in college or people who do graduate from college, on average, make more than people who don't. So stop with the whole rhetoric that you don't make no money coming out of college, right? Because in general, people who have degrees tend to make more. Now, it might not be substantial, depending on the degree in the field you chose, but you do tend to make more than people who didn't go. Um, so these are all the things that you have to consider. If you're from, if you grew up in a place like I did, if you grew up in like North Philly like me, we've had, when you grew up in North Philly, you have very limited experiences. Like I'm talking, you, all you know is chicken cheese steaks, 
<laughs> uh, it's a lot of hood shit. <laughs> well, I, the part of it I meant, you was I was in the hood, so it was a lot of hood shit I knew that wasn't really beneficial for what I'm trying to get done on the back end. But I was also one of those guys who had a who I had a mom and a dad that encouraged me to play chess. I had a mom and a dad that bought me every book I ever wanted. So I was a little bit ahead of a lot of my peers. I was a little bit ahead of a good, good portion of my peers, especially in the reading department. In the reading and writing department, I ran laps around a lot of my peers. With only a couple other kids where we were in the same ballpark. But most of the kids, I was far ahead of them because I did a lot of extra work. So, but coming from a place like a Philly, a New York, or Chicago, or DC, when you're coming from the hoods of those type of places, college is gonna open your mind to a world you never even knew existed, that you only saw on TV. And when I got to college, man, I couldn't believe some of the stuff that I saw. But I was also safe. Like, I didn't have some of the same worries I had in the hood. Like, uh, I can't leave the house at this time, right? If I, ain't, if I ain't strapped or I ain't with my guys, it's not smart for me to leave the house at this time. You know what I'm saying? So, I think college is great. I just think it's all dependent on how the person uses it. However you utilize college is really what it's going to be. You know, a lot of people want to just kind of put it in, like, one category. It's good or it's bad. It's dependent on what you're going to do with it, man. Think about college like a football, right? Or basketball. The ball's gonna be put in your hand. The coach is gonna put the ball in your hand. Now, depending on if you start or you get significant minutes on that team, it's depending on what you do with the ball in your hand. At this moment in time, college is the ball. Now, what are you gonna do with it? Appreciate y'all for listening.